What's going on, MMA fans? I'm here to do my Elite XC Return of the King predictions taking place in Hawaii this Saturday on the 14th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Showtime. Make sure to check it out if you can. It's going to be a great night of fights, compelling fights, actually. These are some pretty good matchups that they put together. And um, if you can catch it, make sure to check it out. Um, going to run down um, a couple fights uh, off the main card, compelling fights. Um, first fight um, that I'm going to go over, one of the first fights of the night, is Dave Herman versus Ron H. Tua Waterman. Ron Waterman, of course, um, uh, excellent wrestler, has a very good uh, ground game, underrated ground game. He's got pretty good uh, submission skills um, on the ground. Um, he's fought the likes of Mirko Krokop. Uh, Kevin Randleman, Rico Rodriguez, Valentin Overeem, who is Alistair Overeem's brother. Um, uh, Dave Herman just recently fought uh, Mario Rinaldi at an Elite XC show, and I'm not sure which one it was, but I only got a couple... Uh, I only got to see a little bit of that fight, but from what I could see, Herman's got decent stand-up. Um, I, I think what's going to happen in this fight is Ron's going to take uh, Herman down, probably try to lay him, pray him, um, and probably go for some submissions. Um, that's what Waterman normally does, and um, I think uh, he's going to win a unanimous decision over Dave Herman. Uh, next fight, Marillo Ninja Hua uh, facing off against Tony Bonello. Um, Ninja, of course, one of the uh, world-class Muay Thai practitioners um, in this game. Uh, he's fought the likes of Rampage Jackson. Super close decision that fight. Um, he's fought um, Akira Soji, uh, Paulo Fio, uh, Ricardo Arona, oh man, Dennis Kang, Joey Villasenor, uh, he fought Robbie Lawler just recently, of course that was for the title and lost that. Um, Tony Bonello is, is a veteran of the sport, um, he first started off, I think his first event, if I remember right, was in Pancrase, and, um, He's got some pretty good uh, jiu-jitsu. Um, he trains at a Gracie school. I'm not sure which one it is um, that he's training with, but he's, he's got pretty good jiu-jitsu. Um, uh, he's fought Tony Lopez, Kyle Williams. Um, oh, man. Bobby Hoffman, who most people know Bobby Hoffman. Um, you know, uh, I think everywhere that Tony is good at, Ninja's better. Ninja's better in the the jiu-jitsu, the jiu -jitsu. Um, Ninja's better in the stand-up, Ninja's better in the clinch, Ninja's better with, Ninja's just better all around. Um, I think Ninja's going to take this fight, second round TKO, um, I think he's going to stop uh, Tony pretty convincingly. Um, I think he stops Tony, so I'm going to go with Ninja, second round TKO. Uh, next fight, Nick Diaz versus Moussin Corbre. Um... Moosin is a, um, a Muay Thai practitioner. Um, he's got some decent jiu-jitsu. Um, he's pretty good on the ground. Um, Nick, of course, trains with Caesar Gracie. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Um, uh, Luzito Espinoza is his boxing coach. Of course, anyone that knows Espinoza knows about him being a champion boxer. He's a world-class coach. I mean, you can't get any better than that guy. And Nick is a talented dude um, as far as his uh, boxing skills go. Moosin, though, has got some pretty damn good leg kicks and decent stand-up himself. Um, Moosin, of course, has fought just recently um, Lee Gibson, Jeff Williams. Um, and Nick, of course, has fought some of the best guys um, in the world at uh, his weight class. Um, he's fought Takanori Gomi, of course. That one was a uh, no contest because of the pot. Um, he's fought Sean Shirt, Carl Parisian. Uh, Robbie Lawler, which was probably one of my favorite fights of all time. With that knockout, that fight went back and forth. Um, I think everywhere that Moosin is good at, I think Nick is right there with him. I think Moosin has got better leg kicks, but I think Nick may have the better pure boxing. And I think he's better on the ground. So I think Nick's going to go for a takedown, probably try to get this fight to the ground and um, submit Moosin. Um, I'm going to go with Nick Diaz, second round, uh, Kimura. I think he's going to stop. Uh, Moose and, and win the fight uh, pretty convincingly. Um, next fight, KJ Nunes versus Eve Edwards. This is a, really a compelling fight and um, interesting fight. Um, KJ Nunes, of course, was um, a... Uh, what's the word? 
was a pride up-and-comer. He never fought in pride, but he was supposed to fight in pride. He never actually got the fight in pride. There was contract disputes and a whole bunch of other mess. But um, uh, KJ fought Nick, uh, Nick Diaz, um, at the couple past Lead XC events. Stopped Nick with um, uh, some cuts that were on Nick's face. Um, he's fought Charles uh, Crazy Horse Bennett, got knocked out by him. Um, uh, Eve Edwards um, has fought the likes of some of the best guys. I mean, it, at 155, Mark Hominick, Hermes Franck, and James Thompson. You've seen the James Thompson fight. One of the best knockouts you'll ever see. Uh, a flying leg kick. Uh, absolutely insane. Um, he's fought Joaquin Hellboy Hansen, uh, Joe Stevenson. The list goes on. Um, KJ is, uh, of course, uh, you know, in his previous... Um, uh, history before MMA, he was a uh, pro boxer, um, but I think Eve is more well-rounded than KJ. I, I think Eve is better on the ground. I think Eve has better leg kicks, and Eve may not have the better of the the punches and the the pure boxing, but I think in every other facet of um, the uh, of MMA, I, Eve just outclasses KJ. And I think Eve is going to take this fight. I think he's going to stop KJ. I'm going to go with a third round TKO. I think KJ will be able to stand with Eve um, throughout parts of this fight, but he's not going to last the whole way through. And I think Eve is finally going to stop him in the third round, probably off of a takedown. Probably going to be inside of uh, KJ's guard, maybe work to the outside, you know, get on into half guard, work to side control, and then just try to get him out and pound him out. Um, but. I think Eve takes this fight. I think he outclasses KJ in every facet of um, the game. So, Eve Edwards, third round TKO. Um, these are my predictions um, for the Elite XC event. Um, I won't have a review video up right away because I won't be able to see this event. Um, I'll probably check the fights out uh, the next day, probably on Sunday. And after I see the fights, I'll make sure that I do a review video and have that up um, within the week, next week. So, on that note, leave me some comments, constructive, negative, positive, and you guys... Have a great day.